Mexico and Hawaii just finished up its annual station fundraiser, partnering with the local nonprofit Hugs to raise over $25,000 for the families of seriously ill children, families such as the Pasquals in Eva Beach. How did I meet Jessica? Well, I was an employee at Home Depot. I had a coworker. It was her mom. mom. Her mom, one day, she introduced me to her daughter. I was all you know, nervous and all, but I thought she was so beautiful. I met Richard in 2003, and I've loved him since then. It was like love at first sight. We have three beautiful kids together, Quentin, Nadine, and Grayson. Grayson is our youngest. We are an Eva Beach family. So our oldest is Quentin. He's really studious. I'm so excited for what his future is gonna look like. And then our middle child is Nadine. She's Grayson's little mommy, we always say. She's really caring. And then there's Grayson. We love Grayson. We've had to adjust a lot with Grayson, but he's shown us how to be patient in so many different ways. Like, I felt like we've grown as a family. Grayson was diagnosed with hemimegalencephaly. Hemimegalencephaly is one side of the brain is larger than the other, which causes seizures, intractable seizures. Pretty much it's just abnormal on one side than the other side. So. Intractable seizures just means that no seizure medications work. We saw that right away when Grayson was born. He was having hundreds of seizures a day. We didn't know what to do. We got help from somebody in Arizona. I found someone online and yeah, they helped us with getting brain surgery to help kind of control those seizures. I kind of was desperate to find support. I needed support, I felt alone. I needed support as a mom and as a family and I started Googling and I found them. And then we were part of the Hugs family. You wanna say how the Hugs family helped you? Yes. Yeah. So we were lucky enough to be part of Hugs before COVID. They had respite programs. I was able to drop off my children and Richard and I could have a nice night. The older kids really liked the respite nights. It was fun. There's so much for them to do and they could interact with other siblings who were going through similar situations as them. He teaches me actually to slow down and never take things for granted. Every day I think about, you know, Grayson might not even be here. So pretty much just take it step by step. I feel like if I ever need someone to talk to, I know that I could email, I could text anybody at the hugs or call them and I know that they would listen to me and they would be there for me. Brought to you by Texaco in Hawaii. Aloha Mai Kako, thanks for watching the Hi Now YouTube channel. Hey, do me a favor, while you're here, go ahead, click that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with all the latest information about everything going on here in Hawaii. Where to go, what to do, where to eat, and where to shop. And don't forget, we'll see you all at HiNowDaily.com.